Like other coronaviruses, SARS-CoV-2 has four structural proteins. Known as the spike protein, membrane protein, envelope protein, and nucleocapsid protein, which holds the RNA genome. Nucleocapsid protein is one of the predominantly expressed structural proteins. Therefore, most antigen rapid tests are designed to directly detect SARS-CoV-2 nucleocapsid proteins produced by replicating virus in respiratory secretions. The qualitative detection of the nucleocapsid protein antigen can be performed with an anterior nasal swab or a nasopharyngeal swab. The swab is inserted into the nostril of the patient and slowly rotated three to five times against a nasal wall. To collect secretions that contain the nucleocapsid protein. Once the swabbing is applied, the swab is placed into an extraction buffer tube. Then with squeezing the buffer tube, the swab is stirred several times to extract the antigen. After extraction of the antigen, the swab is removed and the tube is immediately closed. The rapid antigen test is performed by using a cassette that contains a sample well, a test line, and a control line. The cassette is placed on a flat surface. Three drops of extracted sample are applied into the sample well. And the cassette is incubated for 10 minutes. The test kit is a qualitative lateral flow immunochromatographic assay. And the test device contains a sample pad where the combined sample flows down. A conjugation pad, which contains a gold anti SARS CoV 2 antibody complex. If the nucleocapsid protein antigen is present in the sample, it will bind to the anti SARS CoV 2 antibody. Then the complex formed will be captured by a pre coded anti SARS CoV 2 antibody. The gold nanoparticles can be used as visual indicator because of the nanoparticles' interactions with visible light. So that, the gold nanoparticles absorb and scatter light, resulting in a red color. In addition, chicken IgY antibodies labeled with gold nanoparticles exist in the conjugation pad, and they are used for quality control to assess test validity. The test strip also contains a nitrocellulose membrane with two lines. First line coated with monoclonal anti-SARS-CoV-2 antibodies and second line coated with mouse monoclonal anti-chicken IgY antibodies. In addition, an absorption pad is used in the test device to move the sample across the test strip. The sample migrates laterally across the membrane by capillary action. When the test is performed, the antigen in the sample reacts with the gold anti-SARS-CoV-2 antibody conjugate in the conjugation pad. The mixture then migrates laterally across the membrane by capillary action. And the anti-SARS-CoV-2 antibody antigen complex and chicken IgY antibodies are bound to the pre-coded anti-SARS-CoV-2 antibodies and anti-chicken IgY antibodies, respectively. Only those conjugated with antibodies gold nanoparticle complexes will produce a visible colored line. The presence of two colored lines in the control line region C and test line region T indicates COVID-19 positive. The presence of one colored line in the control line region C indicates COVID-19 negative. No appearance of a colored line in the control region C indicates an invalid test.